What wins a complex sale? A big brand name or someone with a great process? Let me share a story with you. Many of you know I spent my career selling Fortune 500 companies very complex situations. One of my directors, who is the chairman of a New York Stock Exchange company, told me a wonderful story one day to really make this point. His board was meeting because they were going through some strategy decisions in their organization. They needed to hire one of the big strategy firms to help them come in and kind of redefine the organization. So the first name that came to, to the table was McKinsey, the behemoth in the space. Everyone knows McKinsey, and many of the board members have had experience, very positive experiences with that firm before. But soon uh, another board member jumps up and says, well, I've had some experience recently with a company called Booz Allen. And they're another one of the major firms in the strategic. And many of you know the strategic planning field among the large companies is very, very competitive. And it kind of runs off a brand name, you may think. So one of the other directors who was sitting at the end of the table brought up an unknown firm to the equation. He said he had some experience recently. So the board, like they normally do in complex situations, went for a bake-off, or as many of you know in the audience, that old RFP that we dread. So they all had their opportunity to come in for the initial meetings, and they selected four firms, one being this unknown firm. They all came in with great presentations, the top three, Here's who we are, what we do, how we do it, and who we've done it with. Here's how big we are and powerful, you know our brand, etc. This lone firm, they must have read Merge before it was written. They did their research on the company. They dug into what makes the company tick, what the key drivers were, and they brought a case study to the opening meeting. And they said, we understand your business, and your business model, and we understand your industry well. We think the major issues in your organization, and they started to explain their process, which was called the profit hunt. They said, based on these key drivers, just picking up these three drivers alone will bring $4 million to your bottom line. This is our process. We go from PowerPoint presentation with these drivers right to implementation, so you're going to get these hits very quickly. And they had a bold statement about their organization that their clients, which they could prove in their value proposition, outperformed the S&P 500 by a factor of four to one. So they did all their homework, and they made it to the finals. And the board, you have to really think about this, they went to the board meeting as the two finalists, and the board came in and finally selected them and brought them to the board meeting and said, you know, based on understanding your process, the fact that you were able to articulate it well, you really, really understand our business and you know where the pain is and the things that we need to focus on, we're gonna go ahead and select you. That's the good news of our good news, bad news uh, story. The bad news is we're not going to use you for the entire process. We're going to hire you at one of our divisions first, and then once you prove yourself there, we'll have you come and do the work at corporate. Much to their credit, they said, we're going to pass. And all of the board members, if you could visualize this, sat there at the board meeting just stunned. And they said, we don't believe we can bring you the value in your organization by working on that division. You know and we know where the key drivers are and where the current situation is and where we need to improve it. So the board members, after looking at each other for what seemed probably like an hour, which was probably only a couple minutes, they said, can you do us a favor? Can you meet in the lobby for a second and let us talk about this and we'll call you back in? So the, the consultants went to the lobby, the board discussed it, and the board said, you know, these guys are right. 
They nailed it based on the homework that they did on our organization. They obviously understand our industry and they've identified drivers we even talked about here at the board meeting. Why don't we bring them in and engage them? And they did. And my director, who was the chairman of this company, told me they build a million dollars a month every month for a 10 month project. They did this and they won this engagement based on doing the homework in advance, bringing the process to the meeting, being able to explain the process in an understandable fashion, doing that case study so they've identified the drivers and they were able to back all of this up with their value proposition based on their client statement of outperforming the market by a four to one factor. That's what you need to build in your process. You need to build a process that you can articulate well, stands apart from the competition, even the big brands that you're competing against, and you need to prove it. 